So we had a barbecue and I thought the whole field would cut up in flames. Fix it. Dino. 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 Yeah, I can see people surfing from here, so... Van life reality, unfortunately. Welcome back to the channel. We're Billy and Leanne. Last week we showed you our new long-term pitch on a farm in the heart of Cornwall. This week, join us for a surf, a barbecue and a day in the life living in Cornwall in a van. Good morning. So we have just woken up on the farm. How long have we been in now? We've been at the farm now for about uh, a month. Yeah. We come here on the 3rd of June. Yeah, so... So not even a month yet, really. 23rd, so 20 days. 20 been. days we've been here. But we are thoroughly enjoying it. It's a lovely little spot and I've been surfing pretty much every day. I think I've got to be addicted to it. So we're going to head to the beach, go for a little surf. Uh, the weather's lovely, I think it's meant to rain tomorrow. So make the most of the weather and get out and enjoy it. This morning I've made some breakfast, made some eggs on toast for me and Leanne. And then we're just going to do a quick yoga session because we do that now. <laughs> we're trying to do that. We're trying to do that now. Bill thinks that it's going to loosen him up for surfing and I need to lose weight. Well, I just need to lose weight and tighten up a bit. So anything that helps really. <laughs> So I think we're going to change where we are in the field because we're quite on level here. We've tried to level it out with some blocks and that, but it still ain't doing the job. But when we got here, there was one other caravan here. Yeah. So we sort of switched between the top of the field where we was in the last video. We could go to the top because it ain't that bad. Probably could level it out, but Leanne's struggling sleeping. Yeah, I'm struggling. <laughs> I mean, our bed is like, what, a foot shorter than a normal bed? Yeah, so we, so we, we do, have lost quite a bit of length. I think. have to sleep curled up, which is not, obviously that would affect Bill more it does me but for some reason i just can't sleep lately the last few weeks it's been like a bit of a nightmare so we're going to try and park somewhere more level and see if that helps quick yoga session then head to the beach before the sun goes in quick surf and then maybe another barbecue tonight on the field uh we had a bit of a problem a couple of weeks ago when we didn't set the field alight but we found a patio block to put the barbecue on top of it's so funny it happened like twice <laughs> we even soaked the I actually thought, because this is a hay field, we're stupid really, that the, the field had just been cut, so the hay had just been taken down. It's all like loose hay over the floor, so we had a barbecue, and I thought the whole field would cut up in flames. Yeah.
got the hard decision of deciding what to have for dinner. So to Lidl and then back to the farm. As we pulled out this morning, where we were thinking about stopping, which is like just in the corner, it's a really nice flat level bit. There was a motorhome park there, so we can't park there now. So we're gonna have to try and find a level spot at the top where we was before. left for work this morning and took the nice weather with him is absolutely horrible and we've been sleeping with the door a little bit cracked on the farm because uh, we can get away with it because obviously we're on our own and uh, I was woken up by the door just being flown open by the wind so that was all well and good so I'm gonna get up now make a coffee get the van tidy I think it's gonna really storm today and rain so I don't imagine we'll be going for a surf later, but it is Bill and it is, <laughs> that's all I have to say. We probably will be going for a surf. So let's get up and get the coffee on. enjoyed my coffee and the weather is just absolutely awful it's really annoying because i wanted to get my exercise done outside today but 
that's not going to happen. So just going to chill basically today. I've got a good few hours until Bill finishes work and then I'm not sure what we're going to be up to later. Whether it brightens up or not is the question. Sorry if it's a bit boring, but this is van life reality, unfortunately. Sometimes you're sitting in your van when it's pissing down outside and other times your back doors open view of the sunset. So this is the full array of what goes on. Me making a coffee in the morning and us sitting here and terrible grey background. <laughs> So I'm just going to try and look online for some uh, online social media jobs because as we're here for the rest of summer we have to decide what we're going to do for the winter because obviously um, where Bill works it's where the tourists all go home for winter it won't be busy enough for Bill in the winter but we are coming back next summer which is exciting so hopefully if I can get um, some sort of online job we can be fine throughout the winter. I do do social media managing at the moment, but I only have a couple of clients, so I need a couple more just to make sure that we can get all of our bills paid and stuff. So that's the goal today. I'm gonna to try and look for some jobs online. And uh, I've already done a TikTok and posted that. So if you don't follow us on TikTok, go and check that out because we post on there pretty much every day and Instagram every single day. So we'll see you over there. In the meantime, let's look for some jobs. Hello everyone, so I've just got back from work, just chilling at the farm. We was going to go to a festival kind of thing, parade called Maisie Day, which is in Penzance. I think it's called Galoan Festival, the official name for it, but yeah, it's Maisie Day. I think it's celebrating midsummer, uh, and basically they shut the whole of Penzance down, do a big parade, loads of live bands and drinking and music, but it's been absolutely hammering it down, so... It's on a weekend, so I think we might give that a miss today. But Leanne has got a job in St Ives. Yay! So the job's next to the barber shop, next to my shop that I work in. Uh, it's just a little homeware shop, just for a couple of days a week. While I'm at work, she can work next to me, and yeah, it's a good little job. Get a bit of extra money in it. Yeah, I can't wait, actually. I've literally not had a proper job in like six years, so it's going to be really fun. Proper job. <laughs> but I've, um, I'm also trying to get some more clients in my social media managing, so if you have a small business that you need your socials managed if you struggle with growing or you just need someone to run it for you then get in touch because i do it cheap on the cheap that's the plan so work tomorrow both of us we're going to try and either get the train in or i think tomorrow we might just drive in for easiness thing about us both working now is we can start making plans for winter because obviously we're working here until the end of summer now and then we don't really have a plan for winter because obviously before Bill was working from Essex and we was just kind of going away all year like for weekends and stuff. So now we can finally plan what we want to do for winter and try and get something going either working online. I think you're coming back next April, aren't we? There's a space for me next year. So if we do want to come back to Cornwall, then that's the plan. But who knows where we'll end up in the winter time or what we'll be doing. But yeah, that'll be that'll be the plan, I think, wouldn't it? Definitely, because we, we do love Cornwall. And I'm addicted to surfing at the minute. <laughs> so, yeah. Little things with the van as well. I just... Yeah, you want to finish the van, get some things done on the van. That's only been a year since we've had the van, hasn't it? Yeah, a year. This month we've had this van. Yeah, so this time last year I was working in working in Essex. Going away for like three, four days a week. And then, yeah, we've managed to convert the van. See what I mean? Look, it's just... One minute it's been sunny, the next minute it's absolutely hammering it down. Just, uh, we've done it all in a year, haven't we? Managed to get to this point, so. Yeah, it's exciting. I can't wait to see what will be next year. But, um, <laughs> quite itching to do another project, so hopefully another project will come soon. That'll be Maybe exciting. another van. Maybe another van, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next week to find out how we got on at work and what we get up to next. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. We are so grateful for your support. Don't forget to subscribe, we make new videos every Monday.